The FBI, Interpol and Dubai police have been working together on an operation called Fox Hunt 2. This operation was on the trail of a network of cyber criminals who specialized in BEC or business email compromise. BEC is a form of cyber fraud which involves hacking corporate emails and sending fake emails to clients, getting them to redirect transfers to different accounts or reveal their bank details. These cyber criminals had targeted a US law firm, an online bank, and even a UK Premier League soccer club. Although the FBI could follow the money trail in the cyber world, finding out who was responsible in the physical world is a different matter. The FBI began to search for links between email accounts and usernames and found that one of the co-conspirators had a United Arab Emirates phone number saved as Hush. They found this same number was tied to a Snapchat account with the username Hush Puppy 5 and was also tied to the Instagram account of a Nigerian called Ramon Oluranwa Abbas aka Hush Puppy. Whilst reviewing his Instagram account the FBI could see that this man lived a billionaire's lifestyle. He frequently posted photos of shopping sprees, high-end sports cars, private airplanes and even helicopters. Even though Hush Puppy had over 2 million followers, it wasn't hard to see that something didn't add up. The FBI continued to follow Hush Puppy's social media, finding more links and gathering evidence until they had enough to issue a warrant for his arrest. By reviewing his Instagram account, the FBI knew that Hush Puppy and his co-conspirators were staying at Hush Puppy's residence in Palazzo Versailles. The Dubai police conducted six simultaneous raids, arresting 12 suspects and seizing hard drives containing addresses for over 2 million victims and over 40 million dollars in cash. Hush Puppy, like most Nigerians, was born and raised in poverty. By the age of 37, he had scammed his way to the top. If convicted, Hush Puppy could face 20 years in prison, which the FBI hopes will serve as a deterrent for other Nigerian scammers. Although, how do you deter someone who has nothing to lose? What do you think of internet scammers? Let us know in the comments.